Hi guys, welcome back to my XVS guide. Now I'm gonna review Dark Knight Leon, so let's begin from his stats. So I must say his stats is a little bit strange because like you can see that his normal form has plus six times change damage modifier, but his breath shift doesn't have that, okay? And his breath shift doesn't have through double hand option so yes be careful when gearing him and like you can see that his normal version is really nice okay he gets 200% uh, true dual wield so it is very high you don't need to worry about true dual wield once you gear him okay so yes I really like this so I can say right now the only benefit for Prefshi form is the 100% spirit killer and an ability to absorb dark elemental attack so that's very nice but for damage I think the normal form is better okay so let's talk about his abilities on the normal form he is an absolute mirror of equity chainer but the problem is he doesn't have permanent triple cast so you need to use an ability to unlock his triple cast luckily if you awaken his latin abilities then he gonna has per uh, triple cast on the first turn okay on the first turn but that's useful to unlock i mean to use his setup abilities okay so pretty nice i have said that he is kind of locked to dark element but on normal form he is not sure he has dark elemental attack but he also has non-elemental attack okay and like you can see on the table here it is quite nice dark knight charge it deals 72 times damage per cast so it is al almost on par with the lock dark elemental attack so it is not a problem if the enemy resists against dark you can simply equip uh, let's say fire or water weapon on your secondary hand okay so to be able to deal an elemental which gonna benefit you and if the enemy weak against dark you can imbue one of your ally with dark element so this is really nice for other mirror of equity chainer because like you know that on uh, neo fission character usually kind of locked to one element okay so this ability to be able to imbue an element to ally is really good and he can also become your backup breaker because he can break 75 percent all stats for single target and this lasts for four turns and also has four turns cooldown so as long as the enemy not dispel the break i can say that he probably can become your main breaker so very nice and he also able to give your allies 100 percent dark assist except himself but i think this is kind of strange because he cannot absorb dark damage on this form for granny's ability it, it deals 96 times dark damage so it is a little bit more powerful compared to spammable dark elemental attack but yeah it also imperil 120% dark resist on the next turn but again for this dark dark imperil you don't need to rely on this because you can use uh dark corruption or whatever i forgot the name of yes dark corruption to imperil enemy dark resist right on the right on that turn so this is basically to maintain your dark imperil because dark corruption damage is not that high and for limit burst i can say it deals nice damage but mm, i don't think it's worth to use this because your normal abilities are simply better so enough about normal form now let's talk about his brevshi form so his brevshi i think it's worse Okay, first reason because all of his offensive moves, Mirror of Equity Chain, are locked to Dark Element. So this is not a bad thing if the enemy don't have uh, Dark Resist, okay? But another problem is this form doesn't have uh, Dark Imperil. So really, what? So you need to rely on Imperil from your normal form. That's okay, but again, the biggest problem is 
this form doesn't have plus six times change damage modifier so sure the abilities on brave ship form deal i mean have more damage modifier like this one tainted by darkness 81 times bloody darkness 91 times damage but i think without plus six time change damage modifier then maybe your normal form will be better okay because the damage modifier really play huge role okay so i think the only reason you should use this form is if you fight spirit enemy okay because this form has 100 percent spirit killer and on the battle you can give yourself 50 percent spirit killer so in total he has 150 150 percent spirit killer on the battle okay you can increase more using asper but yes that's the reason for this form otherwise i think simply use his normal form another reason is maybe for recovering your mp because he uses lots and lots of mp and like you can see that this grandest ability you able to restore 50 percent of your mp okay for limit burst sure it is better than normal form but still with 150 percent lp damage boost so yeah he has 150 percent on minimum he deals 255 times damage so nice but nothing to break about okay tifa is still much better okay so you know about brave shift now let's talk about equipment partner and abilities so for e Equipment, there are no specific build for him, okay? I think both normal and brushy form require the same things, max his attack. And yes, yeah, so one thing to note is on his normal form, he needs to equip sword, axe, grid sword, and spear to get maximum attack boost, okay? Those are not bad weapons, so no problem. And yes, on normal form, you can easily equip any elemental weapon. Okay, but on Brave Shift, you cannot do that because all of his attacks are dark element. You can do that, you can equip other elements, but the main problem is you will become dual elemental attacker. And why do you want, why you want to do that? Simply stay on normal form. I think it is much better than his Brave Shift. Unless, of course, you fight spirit enemies and one thing to note here is to have nice mp regen because yes if you use triple dark knight charge he consumes 252 mp so that's a lot so i think you need to have some mp regen on your equipment like ardin's hat okay very nice and the nice thing about him is he already has 10 percent mp regen naturally so Yes, it's already nice and pretty gen. For partner, of course, you want to partner him with Mirror of Equity Chainer like Awakened Dragon Axtar. And Awakened Dragon Axtar is really nice because remember, he can imbue Ice Element to all allies. So yes, Dark Knight Leon gonna get benefit from that. Okay. And for abilities priority, I must say that mm, the most important ability is Ambition of the New Emperor. So this will make your Dark Knight charge damage high. Okay, so it allows you to become flexible Mirror of Equity Chainer. Because yeah, if you use other element than Dark, then you're gonna spam that Dark Knight charge. And Dark Corruption is nice for Dark Elemental Attack. Okay, use this if you really want to use Dark Elemental Attack. Dark Corruption too, okay. And I think his Brave Shift form, um, like I said, I don't like it, okay. Except for fighting for spirit. But the most important is Bloody Darkness because it is really strong. 91 times damage, okay, for... Uh, single target but if you need aoe attack then taint it by darkness it is less powerful but still it is aoe so it's good when the situation allow need you to use aoe attack 
and power of dark knight this allow you to absorb dark elemental attack okay but i think this is really useless why i say like that because remember if the enemy used lots of dark attack then there is high chance the enemy gonna resist against dark but on his brassy form he's locked to dark elemental attack so what's wrong okay but let's say if the enemy used lots of dark attack and don't have dark resist you are good to go okay so enough about those things my conclusion for dark knight leon so i can say he is the sand mirror of equity jainer okay he can become your backup breaker but i think if you really need um, backup breaker and then chainer then lauren is much much better and of course you may argue lauren is insane breaker but remember we also have very toss of the dark i know it he is star as ray chainer but the point here is Veritas of the Dark Break is more spammable and I think Yes, Veritas of the Dark is better than Dark Knight Leon Unless of course you fight Spirit So yes again, remember that on Neo Vision there is niche on every character So I cannot really say that this character is worse than this character But on general situation, Dark Knight Leon is really not that special Okay, sure he is nice but his niche, he is very niche, okay? His usefulness is like, let's say, Eileen, okay? Eileen is great, but only when the enemy don't resist Earth and she fights against Machine and Stone. This is also same for Dark Knight Leon. He is great, but only when the enemy don't have Dark Resist and the enemy is Spirit. But again, another problem is on his brave sheet form, he doesn't have plus six time change damage modifier, so it is unlike Island. So it's kind of annoying. Island is true double hand character, so it's okay. Okay, and for trust master reward, I can say it's nice for your yeah for any character who need ten uh, percent physical evasion to reach maximum physical evasion. Okay, really nice. But yeah, for STMR, I don't think it is that great. Sure, it has greatest attack boost, 100%, very high, but there are two conditions you need to meet to get that high, okay? I prefer 80% flat without any restriction, okay? So yeah, I think that's all you need to know about Dark Knight Leon. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye, guys.